Mac for me is exceptional because he's one of those people who understands business and art. He's this wonderful, devoted, and open-minded patron of the arts, and he supports and encourages those artists and institutions that he attaches himself to, but it always starts with his heart and his deep feeling about a work or the works of an artist. The arts. His great contribution to the arts culminated perhaps in his appointment to be the head of the New York State Council of the Arts, succeeding a legend, Kitty Carlisle Hart. And of course he did brilliantly. He was an ambassador, a United States ambassador, ambassador to Finland. And he was very proud of that work, international cultural diplomacy and understanding other cultures is such an important thing for America. He's been instrumental in helping us advance support for the arts. He saw a problem and wanted to be part of the solution to that problem. And that problem was the defunding of arts at the federal level in America. He helped stop it. He has testified to defend charitable contributions. He decided that he needed to get up in front of more than one political body and say, wait a second, this serves everybody. It serves the artist, the arts organization, and the patron. The Watermill Center is a center for creative thinking. We bring together people from very different backgrounds, different political ideas, different religious backgrounds, different disciplines. When I found the Watermill Center in 1990, it was a derelict building that had been abandoned since 1959. And so Earl and I sat here and stayed for two or three hours talking about the vision of what the Watermill Center could be. And probably without the support of Earl, I don't know if I would have done it. Earl Mack is constantly surprising me. In addition to his love of art, he loves horses, and he loves how horses can be used for therapy with returning wounded soldiers and military. Earl, my dear, I can't describe our friendship other than to say it's been the most valuable for me in my life. I love you to death. I always love uh, what Gertrude Stein said, said an artist only needs three things. First, they need encouragement. Secondly, they need encouragement. And thirdly, they need encouragement. And thank you, Earl for your encouragement.